Hello Facebook, YouTube. Today I want to talk to you about something serious because, oh man, you know, it's just like religion has messed up the image of Jesus Christ. I mean, sabotage even the how to become a Christian, you know, and people got a wrong idea that, you know, about becoming a Christian. I don't becoming a Christian and the thing is you know that they got this idea about you know that you know what the message I'm tired of my message is you know we're not supposed to allow sin to stop us from becoming a Christian you know what I'm saying and the problem is people just you know trying to you know be a Christian and you know but they get the you know Oh, I sin, I sin, I sin, darn. Guess I'm not a Christian. Oh, well, let me go back in the world. No, 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 that's not the idea of the cross is all about. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says all sin. It says in Romans 3, 23, all sin and fall short in the glory of God. Sin it should not be an excuse for you to quit, you know, pursuing after God, because that's what the whole idea was. I mean, Jesus Christ, you know, came on the cross. I mean, well, was at the Garden of Gethsemane, you know, pray this cup. You know, if it be your will, let this cup pass, you know. And then he said, not my will, but thine will shall be done. He drank the cup. In that drunk the cup, he took on upon sin, because it says in 1 Corinthians, you know, 5 and 21, he became sin, who knew no sin, in order for us to become his righteousness. You know, of become the righteous for us to become the righteousness of God. And the thing is, Jesus Christ, you know, what I'm saying, became sin when he drank that cup, and was punished like a sinner, punished like a sinner that we was to overcome it. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you know, sinners think, you know, they when they gave their life to God. And they think, you know, oh, because I kept on sinning and I kept on doing wrong, now I should quit, you know, you know, being a Christian. No, Jesus said to the disciples, for the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. But I call it the spirit is willing, but the flesh will quit. Because this is not about, you know, you know, oh, it... it it's not about what people think it is. It's about you going after to become in the image and the likeness of God. That's what this thing is all about. Doing it is all about. It's not about you know. Okay, my sins, my sins. Hold on. The blood is more powerful than your sins. The blood is 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 there to cleanse sins. It's not you know. That's what it's all about. You know that your. Jesus Christ died for you to be clean, you know? It's like, you know, telling somebody to stop cleaning their clothes, you know? You know, it's like, oh, well, I get my clothes dirty, oh, too many times, so I'm not going to, you know, wear no more clothes. You know, something like that. It's like, that's, it's just that ridiculous, you know? To quit, you know, washing your clothes because they get dirty all the time. I mean, we're, the Bible says we're supposed to wash our you know, wash us with the with the word of God each and every day. I mean, washing washing your clothes, washing yourself with the word of God. You know, daily. You know, listening to it. You know, applying it. We wash every day. You know, it's, the thing is, you know, to just quit. You know, being a Christian. You know, it's that idea. Quit washing your clothes. Quit washing dishes. You know eat off of dirty dishes, you know? You know, it's like, you know, oh, the dishes are keep getting dirty because I keep putting food on it, you know? And, you know, let me stop washing the dishes and not eat on the plates. Just eat on the table. You know, that's how ridiculous to me it is to quit, you know, allowing your sins to stop you from being a Christian. You know, come on, just get back. Get the listen, hearing the word of God, fellowshipping the word of God, fellowshipping the word of God, and apply it daily, and find people that are doing that that understands that you're supposed to wash 
you know yourself with the Word of God each and every day. You're supposed to share the Word of God with each other and come in agreement with the Word of God and strive to become a better Christian and love one another, you know, as, you know, you love yourself, you know, and do not allow your sins to stop you from, you know, being a Christian because that's what the blood of Christ is for, washing your sins, washing all your sins are washed away. I mean, you know, yes, you're going to sin, all sin calls short, but in that you will become perfect, you will become new. Old things will pass away. All things become new. Like I did a teaching, you know. B means basically exist in the newness of God. You know what I'm saying? There's, you know, there's the newness of life that happens when you live for Christ. The more you do it, the more you do it, the more you become the light. Just as the more you get dirty, the more you get in darkness. But the more you clean yourself, the more you get in the light. That's how the system works. It's just that simple. But please do not let your sins, your dirt, be you being dirty so much, be an excuse to not go after God. To not go after wanting to be clean. Don't stop. If you still breathing on this earth and you still existing, you still have a chance to continue to go the path of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? Do not let your sins, because you did so much sins, stop you from going after, you know, God. It's just that simple, you know. It's just religion is just ridiculous how they, you know, got this system that, you know, making, it's all about image. See, because religion is all about image, making you look holy, you know, look like you holy. Looks, that's all it's all about, looks. But the thing is, true Christianity is becoming holy. Is actually being holy and applying the word of God each and every day of your life and not trying to be all about being better than holy and thou art this person better than this. No, it's all about you going after Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? And keeping it real about it. You know, following the real instructions of it. You know, the thing is, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, here's the idea. You know, it's like me saying that I'm, you know, I'm a doctor, you know, and a surgeon. And, you know, you know, I'm trying to, you know, be a surgeon, but I'm trying, but, but I didn't go to the school enough to understand everything about being a surgery. But yet, you know, I, I know a little bit about surgery, you know, and I come and try to, and you need a surgical thing done about you. Only thing I do know how to do is cut the skin open and that's it you know and I was like you know the nurse is looking at me crazy are you gonna go in and you know cut the other stuff I said no I don't know how to do that you know what I'm saying and you know you do that halfway and you know things don't work out right when things are done halfway you know but the thing is if I learn how to do those kind of, well I will ask another surgeon surgeon could you help you know, show me the, how to finish this surgery, you know, job here, so, you know, I can fulfill the accomplishment work needs to be done. You know, an assistant surgeon come in because he learned the whole game and, you know, taught, did the thing, did the surgical procedure. And it's like, you know, hey, look, you know, you need to go back to, you know, college, I mean, or whatever, and teach you how to, you know, learn that procedure. You can't, you know, be a sur half, half surgeon, you know what I'm saying? That's the same idea as a Christian, you know what I'm saying? You need to learn how to become a Christian, you know? That's the ideal method, but just as a surgeon, it, it, whatever he was doing, it was probably trying to save the person's life. I mean, what if, you know, you halfway try to save a person's life and end up killing a person, you know? The thing is, that's how important it is to become a true Christian. Is that you have to learn how to, you know, become a Christian concerning giving people love, joy, peace, gentleness, long suffering, fulfilling the, um, you know, the first, the spirit, the fruit of the spirit, you know, and that's what you know should be the focus pattern of you going to heaven, you know, you becoming closer to God. It's you having a relationship with God. I mean, Jesus. I mean. He became sin who knew no sins that we become his righteousness. You know what I'm saying? 
he did all this so we can have go closer relationship with God, you know. And God, Jesus endured all that shame, you know, being, you know, uh, mocked by Caiaphas, being, you know, rejected by the people he, you know, fed in the wilderness and, you know, he gave, taught the kingdom of God to, you know, rejected him. He went through all this rejection, persecution, you know what I'm saying, and now got to carry a cross and all this stuff for you to get closer to God. But that is the objective, getting closer to God. And that's what you, a, a sinner, need to focus on instead of not trying to show an image that you live in, right? Live in no, the objective is to be closer to your creator. You know what I'm saying? That created you on this world. That's what Christianity is really all about. Is to follow these instructions to get closer to your creator. And that's the focus. It's not to try to show everybody that you live holy and you live right and you do this. It's actually doing it for the sake of being closer to God. That's the objective. Now, you know, and, that's, and, and people are supposed to encourage you True Christians are supposed to encourage you in this objective. And they're supposed to tell you the truth concerning that pattern. You know, that you don't go to stray away to lies. You know, so they're supposed to tell you the truth because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And we have to go through truth to get to life. You know, and that's because that's what Jesus Christ is all about. And we, of course, Christians are representations of Jesus, you know. And that's the idea of it, you know. It's not no contest of trying to look better than everybody, you know. That's why everybody's so caught up in a contest. And, oh, I messed up and I sinned, okay. You know, let's encourage you to get back up again. See, because, look, I'm finna just tell you like this. I'm, you know, you know, like I play football. And football, it's all about, you know, a team, you know. And, you know, Christianity system it's nothing about, it's, it's all about a team effort. And if my brother, you know, is, you know, falling short, you know, of the glory of God, I'm going to, you know, encourage my brother, you know, to get back up, or my sister to get back up again and, you know, and win or whatever, you know, going, I'm going to pray for him. I'm, I'm going to help that person whatever I, ever I can and as, my cap as, as my capability spiritually to get that person, you know, on the right track because he's on my team, she's on my team. You know what I'm saying? That's how we're supposed to be looking at being a Christian. You know what I'm saying? You're on the team. You know what I'm saying? Let's work together and let's bring people to the kingdom of God and let them strive to become Christians. We don't have no time. There's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. We don't have time to be condemning people and making them feel bad that they're, you know, they're a worse person, that, you know, they keep making mistakes, and, you know, you, you know, you don't need to be on part of my team because you keep on doing it. No, we're supposed to be more likely encouraging them continually. You know what I'm saying? And if they want to quit, I mean, they want to quit. I mean, you know, and you just, you know, keep praying as praying for them and hope that God will give somebody else in their path to help them, you know, to want to motivate them to be a Christian. See, and that's what is supposed to be motivated. Christianity is supposed to be motivated with that idea, you know. And it's not supposed to be about, you know, uh, oh, she sin, you sin, you sin, you ain't no Christian, you sin, you ain't, you know. It's not supposed to be about that, you know. It's supposed to be about, or, you know, if you're struggling through something, you're doing situations, circumstances, you know what I'm saying, uh, I pray for you, you know, that you get over whatever situation, circumstances going through in your life, you know, that's stopping you from becoming the image and likeness of God. That's what it's supposed to be all about, you know. It's not supposed to be say you're bad, you're bad, you're bad, you know. <laughs> but it is to tell the truth concerning God's word, you know what I'm saying? The truth of God's word, you know, that you have to understand that we have to follow that path, you know, and that's what it's all about. So, you know, but be about, you know, being a Christian and shining the light of Jesus Christ and helping others, you know, becoming one in the image and likeness of God. All right. All right. Now, that's what the message is. All right, God. God bless y'all to God be the glory, you know, in him forever and evermore. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. You know.
don't use sin as an excuse. 